The carotid arteries, which are found in the neck, supply the brain. They are frequently involved with arteriosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries. Commonly, these arteries of the neck can develop blockages. With the use of ultrasound, we can identify areas which are blocked and assess the degree of stenosis. Our vascular lab has been accredited by the Intersocietal Commission for the Accreditation of Vascular Laboratories, sponsored by over 10 professional societies, including the American College of Cardiology. The accredited symbol attached to our reports indicates our testing procedures have undergone rigorous review and were found to be accurate and consistent. No special preparations are necessary for your examination. You may eat and go about your regular activities unless you are told otherwise. Wear comfortable clothing. You will be asked to lie on an exam table. To improve the quality of ultrasound, a colorless gel is applied to the area where the transducer will be placed. The gel may feel cool and a bit moist, but will be wiped off at the end of the study. During the exam, there may be some minor discomfort from the probe pushing on your neck. The examination will only take about 30 minutes. Afterwards, your study will be interpreted by a physician and the report sent to your primary doctor. Should you want a copy of your interpreted report, we would be happy to provide one to you. Doctors Maltese and O'Gorman have received certification in the peripheral vascular testing, and Dr. Higgs has received a certificate of special qualification in vascular surgery. On the screen, you see a cholesterol-containing plaque that was formed in the carotid artery, just as it made its Y into the two arteries, one continuing to the brain and one that supplies the face. Sometimes these cholesterol plaques may dislodge. This may result in an alteration in mental status associated with changes in speech, loss of strength, or changes in eyesight, such as blurred or disturbed vision. The National Stroke Association has developed an acronym for the signs and symptoms of stroke. For a brain attack, think FAST, F-A-S-T. F stands for face, ask the person to smile. A stands for arm, ask the person to raise both arms. S stands for speech, Ask the patient to speak a simple sentence. T stands for time. It's time to call 911.